Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to work with OJ dialog component in our visual application. In our earlier videos, we had learned how to build this application or the user interface. You have, if you have not watched that video, please check out the videos. I will give the link in the card section. I will add a button over here that is to create a category as we are listing all the categories from our business object. So on click of this button, it will open the dialog and it will ask for new category details so that it can create a new entry in our business object. For that, first of all, I will try to drop a button over here. I have dropped the button. Let me make it solid. Let me change the text to create category. Okay. Now I will switch over to the code view and at the end I will drop the dialog. Let me drop the dialog over here. Let me change the button name to create. Also we will add one more button over here that is for cancel. Suppose if you don't want to go ahead with creating the category so that the user can cancel by clicking on this cancel. So we are going to create the events later for those. Now within this flex I will add form i will add the form layout for that i will search for the form layout and i will drop it over here now in the form we will add the category what and all is required so in our case for the category we need category id which is of type number description it's of string type locator is a string and manager id so we need four variables as a placeholder switch over to main start search for the input keyword first we need the input number that is for category id i am mean, changing the name as category id over here next we need description i will name this as description next we need input for manager id which is of type number and then we are going to provide the locator I am naming this as locator now we need to assign the values entered by the user on those form input segments in some variable for that we are going to create that variable first head over to the types click on plus from endpoint as we are creating the category we have to select this post this is used to create the category click on next first we have to uncheck this and let me rename create category object let me name this in the request we need the category id description locator and manager id these are the four fields which are we are going to create in the form layout in the dialog click on finish as you can see create category object has been created with four elements over here now go to variables click on plus variable here let me create a variable for this create category var now we have to select the type which is of type create category object click on create so our category has been created go to page designer now in the category id we have to assign this data to the variable which we created that is this one category id click on save next is the description we are mapping to description again for manager id we have to map it to manager id in the variable at the end is a locator for this we have to map it to locator within this variable so we are done with this now we are going for button activities for button we will create an event over here click on plus new event on oj action we have to call the category endpoint for that i am dropping the call rest from here i am selecting business object category and the post and in the body assign we have to map the create category variable which we created just map it to body and that's it in case of success we need a bell notification for that i am dropping this provide the name 
on the summary as success and in the notification type I am providing as confirmation after that we want to update the SDP value okay, for that I am selecting this target as our category list SDP with which we are populating our table and type is refresh and at the end we need to close the component which we opened that is nothing but the dialog from here we have to select the dialog and the method is close again you can rename this dialog from the HTML or the code of this page designer again in case of failure also we want to close this component which we that is the dialog which we had opened on click of that button so here the method is close okay so we are done with this now go to page designer and click on this create category we want to open the dialog on click of this i am renaming this to create category action chain this is for dialog so on click of this button it has to open our dialog for that i am selecting the OJ component method as open now go to page designer so as soon as the user clicks on this create category it will open the dialog and once the dialog opens up the user will enter the category id description manager id locator and click on this create button so that it will raise an event in that it will call the category rest api for creating the new category it will update the hdp or it will refresh and it will close the dialog now one thing remains is what if the user changes the mind and clicks on the cancel for this we need to create one more activity over here it will close the dialog method name is close so we are done let me preview this application i will click on this create category i will provide the category id as 108 description water bottle manager 103 locator is rack a3 click on create yeah it has created and it has uh, inserted the data you can see the water bottle has been inserted at the first row so again we can sort this i will show you how and also we will learn how we can adjust this in order to adjust the dialog what we have to do is we have to go to live click on this go to design again select this and on the structure you will find this form click on this form and you have to drag this it will adjust as per the dialog also you can go to the code and write your uh, width height details so that the form data or the layout will adjust as per the dialog that also you could do so this is done next is the sorting we have to go to this variable go to this sdp which populates our uh, table so here there is this order by go to not mapped change to expression here we have to write get a gory id and sending yeah done click on save now we'll preview this again let me refresh the page uh, look like there is an uh, issue also you can uh, go to this right click and inspect and you can debug with the help of the network and the console tabs available in the inspect or the developer tool now it looks like something issue with that names what you had put in the order by so let me check what is the name category id okay the d looks in small case so let me correct this and click on save now let me refresh this page yeah now it has populated the table and it is in the order okay that 108 what was appearing appearing at the top it is now ordered as per the category id now click on this create now as you see this category is spanned across this dialog width so here i am putting this 109 description i am putting oil bottle manager id i will provide as 102 locator rack r2 click on create yeah as you could see the new category which has been inserted it is at the end so this is ordered so like this we can make use of this dialog and uh, build applications with the help of visual builder please do like this video and subscribe our channel and thank you for joining us in this video